Well, hello there, guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at Frontline Western Front. Let's jump right into the campaign. I do believe that we start in Italy over here, in Sicily specifically. And for those of you that don't know, the actual Italian campaign moving up through the south of the country was an absolute slugfest. Moving even just 10 feet was a hell of a challenge. So let's try to land in Sicily and take over the island. Best of luck, boys. Here we go. So we have to eliminate all opposing forces. That's our main goal, of course. Uh, capture Castelluzzo and capture Lentina are two additional optional tasks. We've gone with normal difficulty here. I did want to do something a little more complicated than easy. The Allied invasion of Sicily, codenamed Operation Husky, was a major campaign of World War II, in which the Allies took the island of Sicily from the Axis powers. It began with a large-scale amphibious and airborne operation, followed by a six-week-long land campaign, and initiated the Italian campaign. Husky began on the night of 10th July 1943, and ended on the 17th of August. Strategically, Husky achieved the goal set out for it by Allied planners. The Allies drove Axis air, land, and naval units from the island, and the Mediterranean sea lanes were opened for Allied merchant ships for the first time since 1941. Alright, it's nice to hear. We've got, of course, our allies here. We've got some Royal Marines, as well as some good old-fashioned engineers. Both the American and British forces are going to be helping us here. And I think I know what I want to do with the engineers. Now, if I could toss a bomb, it's pretty good against armor, but not necessarily good against buildings. Let's see. Although we can immediately destroy it, sabotage the bunkers. Pretty damn close, pretty damn close. I think a follow-up with the Royal Marines and we can finish it off entirely. Gasparoso is now under our control. As you can see here, elite units benefit from an initiative every time a target is eliminated. If there was another enemy nearby, for instance, another enemy infantry unit, we'd be able to get a second attack because we did so well on that first attack. Let's drop some additional units here. I'm gonna also start dropping, oh my goodness, we've got some Polish infantry. Oh no, sorry, Canadian. That, I actually mistook that for Polish, the white and the red on the bottom. Still very nice. And I know there would be some Polish infantry regiments in this operation eventually. I'm not sure if, um, if they were involved only in the actual land operations. Actually, let me take that back. Uh, French operations, not Italian. So I don't know, actually, if there were Polish units here. It wouldn't surprise me. Let's open fire on the armor, of course. The Cavalieri, of course, the Italian cavalry units. But of course, what it really is is armored cavalry. And we've got to keep in mind, guys, we've still got a lot up here from Castellarmare, Fulgatore. There's lots of areas we still need to take. And the enemy does have some artillery back here. They've got some additional mechanized infantry, too. I really wish we could roll up right now and immediately hit them, do some damage. But we've got to let them do their moves. Let's go ahead and the turn. So close to taking Lentina as well. But I want to make sure we accomplish all objectives too. And there we go. The Germans are not past firing at a civilian location if it means knocking out a few of our men. Let's keep on pushing forward. It's time to take Lentina. Gloria Lentina. Alright, so they actually... Wow, I expected us to make it out of that. But what I can do... I'm going to be a bit sneaky here. Move that unit over into the forest. Let's push forward with our Sherman. And there we go. We also get an initiative boost, guys. Don't forget about the initiative boost. That gives us a second attack. And, of course, that allows us to do some damage there to the enemy. I love it. Uh, let me also push forward with the priest. I was hoping the priest would be able to hit this unit. But let's face it, he's just a little too far out of the way. We are, however, going to continue to push forward with the Royal Marines. Can we use the Panzerfaust? No, that's, that's only a skill we get later. Nonetheless, at this close range, we are doing quite a bit of damage. And as you can see, we just got promoted, so now, guys, we can use the AT Grenade skill. Now, it looks like we can't move into Lentina this turn. That's simply because all of our units have already attacked and moved. Although we do have this infantry. Sadly, he's over here, kind of uh, encompassed by mountains. I'm not sure he's going to make it through. Although, for the second best thing, we can open fire here north of Lentina. And completely eliminate the enemy. I love those artillery rounds coming in, by the way. It's such a nice little touch. 
and let's just make sure Castelluzzo is in our line of sight, and look at that, we even get an extra shot at the enemy artillery. Man, we are rolling through Italy right now, I hope it continues this way. We also have healing abilities with our uh, USHQ here, so if we want to get our HQ closer to our men, we can of course boost their health parameters a bit. I think that's a really nice touch, and probably one reason we should keep our HQ close. Now watch out for the fog of war, and I mean literally the fog of war in this game, because at Fulgatori, and over here, I can't quite read that, there are certainly some additional German units. So let's just be very, very careful here. In fact, even though we don't really need to reinforce right now, yeah, I guess since we move, we might not be able to. I was going to reinforce uh, some of the armor, but I think we'll be okay for now. So let's end the turn here. We can, of course, purchase some additional units, but I don't think we need to. Um, I think we should try and kind of rely on what we've got and continue moving forward. All right, three of 20. Let's get right in there. I wonder if we capture it just by rolling through. We're about to find out. Nope, he didn't decide to roll through. That was my fault, though. Um, let's open fire. And I'm actually going to take the infantry, because I know they're not going to be able to make it all the way up there. This is, of course, only one of the secondary objectives, but an objective that we want to accomplish nonetheless. And, of course, the more objectives you do accomplish, you're going to unlock some more points to spend down here. So, requisition points are important during this fight, and look at that! Man, thank goodness I kept some men there. We have Trapani. I totally forgot about Trapani. Now, we're going to have to send some guys to attack this way, and these are not engineers. So they're not going to be as effective against these entrenched positions. In fact, as you can see there, the men simply ducked down behind the parapet and they avoided our damage entirely. This is one of the things I'm concerned about. We're going to try to open fire on it. Yes, we can definitely hit them, but actually, I'd rather do some damage here to the infantry units, the 3rd Alpine. The beanie units. Unbelievable, really amazing job there by the U.S. Tuscaloosa. We need one more O there. U.S. Tuscaloosa there, destroying a target with just one volley. You gotta love those support vehicles, the support weapons. They are absolutely amazing. All right, let's see. Push over here. I'm just trying to make rooms for some additional units. There we go. You know what? I said I wouldn't spend these points, but they're here for a reason. Let's get ourselves a British Churchill. Yes! Beautiful. And he'll be able to attack next turn. Of course, we used most of our requisition points to do that, but I think it was worth it. Let's use that priest, finally getting some of that additional firepower, and I'm going to try to use the sabotage ability here with our infantry. So they actually avoided the sabotage ability. Of course, that, that makes us basically attack this area with flames, with uh, Molotov cocktails, whatever we've got on us. And typically, we'll burn out an infantry unit. But these guys actually held on until the end. we got to give it to them. We're going to break through Castellamari eventually, guys. And you can see the indicator there on top of the city itself, which lets us know that we do get requisition points for taking Castellamari. We want to keep that in mind. I also potentially want to move that ship a little closer. Ah, that's good. You can still spot the enemies here at Trapani. Let's keep pushing. Alright, first I'm going to try to get a good old shot with the ship. Really try to weaken the bunker, suppress it. Make sure he's not going to return attacks against our poor men. Uh, and let's start attacking. Ooh, very sneaky. All right, it looks like they are continuing the fight. I didn't expect that. I thought we would break through without issue at all. Uh, let's just continue to weaken the Italian units here. They've got quite a few units, including a German Panzer. And there's only three here, so they're not that strong. But the fact they've got a German Panzer here makes me think that they would ambush us pretty bad if we try to just do a head-on attack with the infantry. What I am going to do is send the infantry over here, and they're going to start heading towards Umari. Even though it's not a location we need to take desperately, I think it's still important to take it. Come on, boys. Units full, back to full strength. Only units that did not move or attack can be reinforced. Aha! So we get an answer there. So essentially, um, if we have a unit uh, that has already moved, 
we're not going to be able to use those HQs to reinforce them. Only a unit that stayed put and hasn't done anything this particular turn. Let's get over to Umari as well. We're slowly starting to get over there to the east, guys. I think that we'll be wrapping this one up soon. I certainly hope so. I want that victory. I want to get deeper into Italy and really face Mussolini face to face. That's a beautiful weapon there. Alright, straight for Umadi, boys. Now, as you can see, the enemy is receiving artillery support there from our attack, so they get bonus defense. Obviously not the greatest situation. What I'm going to try to do is cut off the artillery entirely. So we're sending in the Royal Marines on a special mission to wipe out the 7th Battery. Good work, boys. Good work indeed. We also get that initiative boost. Of course, we're going to follow it up with an attack. And even at Casta del Mare, I'm going to bring the engineers over. Look at that. They just keep reinforcing that unit. That is frustrating. Let's put an end to that reinforcement once and for all. Yes! Oh, they avoided! They avoided, guys! That is frustrating. So they actually avoided the attack by our Churchill. I'm gonna keep on attacking. Okay, very, very good. We got the unit promoted, which gives us the APC, our armor-piercing ability. And we're immediately gonna use that armor-piercing ability on the 7th Panzer. I love how this game works with combos. The combos are very important. And that is just a perfect one. Although the enemy has gotten very lucky with the avoided shots. They just had an armor-piercing round fly by them, and they didn't even flinch. All right, let's keep pushing. Trapani, it's your turn next. What's wrong with me? I should have sent him immediately to Casa Santa. There we go. Now back out. Just to be safe, I'm gonna send the artillery to Castellamare. I don't think they have any more units up here, but you never know. Especially with the fog of war here, they could send some units over to the road and head west. So I'm not gonna take that chance. What I am gonna do is use a good old-fashioned airstrike. <laughs> We're just gonna use one of these, uh, since the enemy doesn't seem to have any anti-air weapons. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting indeed. And that Panzer, th that Panzer is incredibly good at moving out of the way. Hopefully this will be the final attack in the east as w at least. Let's open fire on Trapani. Did manage to do some damage. There we go. I'm going to let the infantry get in there. Get the victory of, uh, or the glory of the victory, of course. There we go. Trapani and Pacheco are ours, and now, of course, we've just got this area here. Man, we're so close to victory, I can taste it. Misfire. What is wrong with our tanks? They're, they're letting me down. So at least we damaged them a little bit there. I really also want to just get the units out of this village. Let's do a full-scale attack. If we didn't have the cutoff, I wouldn't even risk this. The fact is we've got the Alpini surrounded on all sides. I think it's important for us just to bust on through. Unit has performed more than three attacks and is exhausted during one turn. As a result, it cannot retaliate for the remaining and next turn. That's really cool. I didn't know about that mechanic. But essentially, since we've hit this guy three times, next turn he can't do any attacks. He's going to have to stay put. That's making me want to move the priest forward and finish him off. Fire on the firing line, and another misfire there. We're so close we can taste it, but the, the Italians and the Germans are just barely holding on. Good work, son. Very good work. Right, let's keep that going. In fact, I'll use my tank to, take, uh, to, to carry out this mission. Let's try to go for their tank, but you know what? You know what? I'll actually keep on going. I'm not going to change the position here because we are so close. There we go. No more Germans on the field. At least not over here. We do still have a German unit at Fulgatore. Let's get up close and personal here. No! That was my bad. Next turn we'll be prepared. And I'm also going to send this Canadian unit to attack Fulgatore and hopefully liberate it this turn. It does look like we got it. There's not really much to liberate here. All we have to take is Datilo. But it's, it's always good to get that additional victory, right? There we go. They avoided it again. Man, these Alpine units are pretty badass. 
Misfire. Man, the, the Alpini are extremely lucky right now, I'll say that. Extremely lucky. Now, we can provide some supply here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. The guys are out of ammunition. That's why they can't attack. We might actually have to get them back into our supply line. Since we're behind the enemy lines, we're not getting any sort of, re or any sort of um, support with resources, with ammunition, food. That isn't happening. Now, thankfully, it's also not happening for the enemy here at Tumani. Oh, I take that back. I guess since they're on a city tile, they get that auto supply. That is enraging. All right, let's heal up some units here. We'll have to attack next turn. Fire with the priest. I'm also going to get over here with our church hall. Just to provide that additional firepower. You won't necessarily get close with the church hall. Because you don't typically want to attack city tiles with armored units. You're just asking to get shot down. Man. There we go, guys. And I believe Tatilo is now under our control. Beautiful. Tatilo now under allied control. We've only got Umari to take. And that is the end. Giving the Italians the option to surrender here, I would take it. Soften them up. Alright, let's try to use the sabotage ability. This is the safest option. Looks like we did an okay job. I'm also going to fire at distance here with uh, our Churchill. They avoided. Damn. Alright, I'm going to get try to get back to our supply lines over here. Maybe we can still use the suppressive fire? No. There we go, guys. Umadi is under our control, and that is a victory. Decisive victory for the Allies. We accomplished all of the additional tasks, and we get 964 prestige points to use in the next battle. Let's see what that next battle is, and it's going to be Monte Cassino. Famous Monte Cassino. The amount of men that were lost trying to take this area is absolutely unbelievable, as you can imagine. Um, I can't wait to jump in. It's probably going to be heavily fortified, very mountainous. Let's have a look. We've got to capture all three objectives. Capture Cochiuto and capture Minturno as optional objectives. The Battle of Monte Cassino was a costly series of four assaults by the Allies against the Winter Line in Italy, held by Axis forces during the Italian campaign of World War II. The intention was a breakthrough to Rome. At the beginning of 1944, the western half of the Winter Line was being anchored by Germans holding the Rapido Gari, Lidi, and Gagliano valleys, and some of the surrounding peaks and ridges. Together, these features form the Gustav Line, Monte Cassino, a historic hilltop abbey founded in AD 529 by the Benedict of Nursia, dominated the nearby town of Cassino and the entrances to the Lidi and Rapido valleys. Guys, beautiful. This is wow. Really liking the, the cityscape here. We can even see the little villages dotted all through uh, Italy here. And of course, look at that defensive line. It's exactly what I expected. Over here in Piedmont, we just have a massive line of Germans. Uh, no Italians as far as I can see. I think the Italians have given up at this point. We've also got a tremendous amount of units over here in the southeast. We've got to take Minturno. We've got to take Casino, of course. And we have to keep on pushing through to take San Giovanni all the way back here. Man, we've got a lot of work on our hands, and I can't wait to get started. Thankfully, we also have requisition points that we won in the last battle, and you bet I'm going to use them. I love also these airborne units. We're going to have to use these. We can get behind the enemy lines once we start attacking and do some additional damage behind the lines. I just love that additional touch. I'm also going to get an M12 155mm artillery piece here. Look at these beauties. I'm going to get two of them, as a matter of fact, because we're going to need to soften the enemy up if we want to break through Monte Cassino. And what can help us break through more than good old-fashioned artillery fire? Over here at Gervado, I'd also like to bring in some artillery. I'm just concerned about attacking directly to the front. I wanted to see if the priest could drop over here, but it doesn't look like he can. This area is kind of cut off. So let's do the next best thing. I'll try to keep our distance. Although, look at that. The enemy has Panzerfausts. The enemy has AT guns. I feel like the infantry have got to be the first ones up here. Um, we'll push it a little bit, but I want to be very careful here. Did 
manage to shake them, but we've got to be very faster. If we're going to strike, it has to be aggressive and fast. We've got so much support. So we're just going to try to start wailing into the units back here that provide that support. I'll also do some additional damage against even just the units inside Casino. But again, with that artillery, they could hold out for quite a while. Those priests aren't going to be able to fire this turn. Maybe next turn. Over here, we already know the ability to transport units. So especially through these mountain valleys, we sometimes have to follow the road for quite a while to get around a mountain. And that would be the time to go ahead and use a transport vehicle. Keep in mind, though, your units cannot fire back while in transports. And also, the enemy can do a lot more damage to them in those supply trucks than if they were out and about. What about the Sherman here? And again, I'm keeping my distance. You guys can see I'm leaving a tile between us just to make sure the enemy can't get any um, any attacks on us next turn, basically. Damn misfire. All right, I'm going to get this guy out of the way, and I'm going to push through with our infantry. You can see our infantry do not have that two-tile ability, but we're going to push forward with our engineers right up the coach. You know, the reason is I want to use my sabotage ability. Look at that! Even sabotaging, we would take pretty dramatic losses here at Cochino. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, we're just going to do a straight-up attack. In fact, we're not going to attack. We're going to hold on. We're going to hold on. There's no benefit to attacking here. Oh, this is interesting. Commando Smokescreen. So this increases our defense by 80, but lowers our damage. Let's not worry about it right now, but I want to try out this field artillery... And I want to remove any enemy anti-tank units that could stop our progress. Let's go, boys. Tremendous work there by the 2nd Infantry. Couldn't have done it better myself, man. Why not the Greyhound as well? Again, I'm going to keep my distance, but it looks like with the Greyhound, it doesn't have those abilities that the tank has. We do need to get up close and personal, and by doing that, we're going to be hit by this Nebelwerfer here. I think it's a calculated risk. I'll take it. Yeah, that was a bad risk. That was a bad risk. So there we go. Lesson learned, folks. Let's keep pushing forward with the rest of our infantry. Let's also see if we can drop some airborne units behind the line here. Yeah, we can. There you go, boys. Unfortunately, they can't move till next turn, but obviously I'd want to go for the Neville Urfer over here. Let me see if I can't drop some more airborne units. Oh, yeah. And once again, we're going to have to wait till next turn. Hopefully, they don't completely annihilate us. There are a lot of men here. They probably can, but at least their focus won't be on our first line of attack. That's what I'm hoping for. If their focus is not on our first line of attack, then we'll be okay. I think that's about it in terms of what we can do this turn. We could, of course, purchase some additional units, but no, we're out. We've used our, not our supply points, but the space has been taken up for this battle. What I will do is get the HQ close by so that we can begin to heal some of these units, particularly the Greyhound next turn. That's assuming he survives. Oh man. Yep, they're going straight for our paratroopers. Almost immediately going for the paratroopers. Sorry, boys. And they got our Greyhound. So now that we do have extra, of course, room to recruit units, and we just lost the Greyhound, I might try to bring in something even heavier. But I think all of our heavy units can only drop over here for now. Um, we'd have to drive all the way over. Let's see. Let's actually check that. So let me try to get a Wolverine. Oh, baby. All right, all right. You know what? I'm going to get a Crusader. Or sorry, a Sherman tank. A Mark IV would also be pretty nice, but for now I'm going to stick with the Sherman Let's see if that artillery can reach the city. Nope. Now it can. Break the Fosham Jäger. I'm also going to do an attack, even though we're probably going to die during this attack, against the artillery, just to weaken them for our continued attacks against Casino herself. We also want to be careful with all of the Germans over here on the mountains. They can easily attack, flank attack us, and do some pretty critical damage. So, we just want to keep an eye on them. I'm not going to worry, but... Let's just keep our eyes up there. Unfortunately, a miss. Push forward. Come on, boys. Second infantry. They were so close, and I think with one more attack, we can hit them. But unfortunately, we cannot attack since we've actually got some units in the way. Uh, move the Sherman forward. Make sure we fired all rounds. 
Again, can attack because units in the way here. At least we can fire at Kochi, no? Calculated risk here. Of course, I want to go for Kochino, but we've got to make sure that the enemy doesn't have any artillery support. Uh, and it's always good to just try and damage as much of their infantry as possible. Now, that's pretty awesome that even though we were firing at distance, they still had their supporting fire. That's good to know for the future. Uh, and lets us know that even again, if we're in that two tile distance, if they have that artillery support, be careful anyway. Here we go. Nebelwerfer versus 155mm, and luckily the Nebelwerfer misfired. It's good to see the Germans having some misfires here. We should have gone with the Airborne first, that was my bad. They actually avoided the attack and destroyed our Airborne unit in one shot. Yeah, that's, that's no good. Um, we are going to get hit again, but I think we just have to keep on pushing against the 4th Panzer Grenadier. Once we break through here, uh, once we break through here, I think getting to the actual city is going to be easy. Uh, one issue is that over here at Skaudi, another location we have to take, there are some additional German infantry units, and they would be crazy not to send them forward, right? They probably will end up sending them forward, but there we go. Got our first initiative hit, and I'm actually going to use it to clear the minefield here. Get rid of that minefield. Another initiative. I didn't know you could stack initiative. That's amazing. Uh, and let's fire at the Nebelwerfer. Alright. Wow, I'm really proud of the 67th Armored. They've done an absolutely amazing job during this battle. In the meantime, I'm also going to bring some good old-fashioned uh, rest and resupply there to our infantry units. I think they deserve it. It's looking all right, boys. The The battle that we have here is looking all right. Although, again, the Germans still have a tremendous amount of support here in the center. You can only hope they don't use that all at once. Let's turn it over here to the Germans. I want to just make sure... Yeah, we moved everything. Here we go, guys. Oh, man. Battle units might route and will not retaliate for the remaining and following turns. Of course, this unit is going to be stuck. And this is, of course, the danger of attacking this line. They completely destroyed our air unit, and we deserved that. We really did. But now I think we can actually break through to Casino. I still want to continue the shots here on the enemy artillery. So pretty much just wipe out their ability to retaliate at all um, at our units. Let's do it, boys. Here we go with the second infantry. And despite them having a misfire, we also had a misfire with our own unit. We are not breaking through to Casino this turn, at least not with that particular force. Wait, again, what I did here is quite risky, because um, again, I don't like having an armored unit defending this city area, uh, or attacking this city area, more, more importantly. But I'll take it. Um, I'll take it. As you can see, this unit over here very badly damaged the engineers. And I'm pretty sure they are unable to attack this turn since they were about so badly hit last turn. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to really try to damage all of the enemy units here. Um, probably should have fired at the support vehicle here. But like I said, my goal now is just to try and damage as many of these units as possible so that they can't affect our advance here in the west. Uh, that's the only reason we even are attacking here. In fact, can we get another MK4 nearby, a Mark IV? Let's put a Mark IV right here. Now that we've taken Casino, guys, we of course now hold this area um, of Casino so we can actually drop units in any of these tiles. I really like that. That's a very cool touch, of course. And in the meantime, we can also use our HQ to resupply these damaged units. We can even resupply some of the tank units. Unfortunately, we have to get closer to help these guys out. But I'm going to keep the HQ there for now. Uh, I think it's important to keep it there just to keep that supply running through to the casino area. Let's take a look here at the southeast. Straight for the Nebelwerfers. Good work, boys. Now, we do have an initiative boost, but we can't use it right now because there's actually no enemy units nearby. Let's push forward to Minturmo. Second infantry, prepare to attack. 
there we go, man. We made it right through, and now, of course, just to push up the middle here. I don't think Mifunano will be difficult to take. It's, uh, it's gonna be an easy steal, but up here in the north is where I'm a little more concerned, because the enemy has some additional units there, and I'm not sure what they're going for. Uh, let's see, can we... Oh, we shouldn't have moved those infantry units. Alright, well, next turn we can help these other units out. In the meantime, I'm just gonna push forward. And let's also push forward with the Sherman over here. Well, we might as well start chipping away at the Germans up here on the hill um, while we're here. Although I think the better idea would have been to move this HQ back and push the artillery into place. We'll take it for now. We've also got to be very careful with our requisition points here. We're only going to be able to get one or two additional units, really, at this rate. Alright, let's end the turn. Man, these Germans are fighting back with ferocity. They don't want to lose the area, and of course not. Uh, this means losing essentially all of central Italy, and we go right to the north to Milano and all those beautiful places. It's, it's not going to be easy for the Germans to give this one up. And the interesting thing does seem to be that since we're this far in the campaign, the amount of Italian troops here is very minimal. There's, there's really not many Italian troops. It's almost entirely German, as it should be at this point. Here we go. Oh man, that sabotage would be worse for us than attacking. Let's do it. We're going to attack. We're not sabotaging, but we are going to attack. Again, I think taking Gassino is so important, even if it means losing quite a few men. Let's face it, when the Allies attacked this area, um, in fact, it was uh, 447th Infantry Division. Uh, no, it is 442nd, sorry. Uh, an American infantry division that actually managed to uh, raid and take Casino. They lost so many men. Every single one of the units just lost a tremendous amount of manpower. We're also going to try to soften her up here. Alright, let's push the HQ back. I'm going to push this forward. Oh, no, we got to get even closer with the artillery. Although for now, this 155mm could still do a lot of damage to the guys there on the hill. Good work, boys. Just opening up the line a bit. I was really hoping we would break through this turn, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I'm going to take a risk here. Damn! Let's try to use the APCR. Because we're using those armor-piercing rounds, we would have busted through, but unfortunately, uh, they were able to uh, deflect that shot. I'm actually going to move back with the Churchill. Let's try to get him uh, some additional supplies next turn. And let's see if we can get some medical help. Nice one! Rather, we get assistance first and then attack. So, perfect. I like that. And I'm actually going to take this commando unit. I thought we were going to assist in attacking here. But I'm actually going to send him behind the enemy lines. To see what the enemy is up to in this area. Fire! Should be able to break through this bunker next turn. In fact, we can even go ahead and take this minefield out. There's one less obstacle for us to worry about, of course. Do we want to attack from Casino? Yes, we do. And there we go. We also got an enemy unit missing in action. I don't know uh, what exactly that means, but we took Guachiuto, which is the suburbs of Casino there. And we can even do the initiative boost and get that additional attack. Oh, that worked out tremendously. If only we could get another initiative attack on him. In fact, I think we might be able to. Not with him, but with the infantry unit. Oh, my bad. There we go. That's all right. At least we're getting set up for next turn. We're already in the casino area. We've taken the important objective point here. And now we've got to push on through. Push on through these roads over here, of course. Head north. Take Rocca Seca if we can. And certainly we need to capture San Giovanni. This is one of the, um, the essential captures to be able to have both roads into central Italy. Uh, and I think San Giovanni, it's going to be tough. They have an entirely 
new second line of defense there. Although I think we've been through the worst. We've been through the meat grinder here, and our casualties certainly tell the story. What I really wanted to do is get some reinforcements for this guy right here, but we're going to have to wait till next turn until the HQ can actually provide reinforcements to him. He's got to be closer. But this Churchill and all of these infantry units, including the engineers and the second infantry, man, they have been through hell and back. Oh, we got some additional German units heading down here, huh? Alright, that's got me a little bit worried. Alright, back to our turn, guys. We are going for Minturno. Uh, I think it's going to be the first one I want to grab. Not quite. They are shaken, but not beaten. I should have fired artillery, actually. We'll do that right now. And we have liberated Minturno. Not quite liberated Minturno, actually. We still need to drive in. And there we go, guys. Objective completed. Of course, being on the east there of Italy, it's quite important to take that area, completely cutting off the north uh, to the Germans. So let's keep pushing forward and get up there with the 1st Infantry. If we wanted to, we could have actually put them in the truck and actually gotten them here a little bit faster, but we're foregoing that uh, just to keep them in an all always ready position, essentially. Now, with these guys, I'm just ignoring and avoiding them. I'm just going to keep seeing what the enemy has back here. I might even attack that 88. That 88 is, is going to be pretty deadly throughout this game. Now, here's a chance to fix up some of these tanks, get some supply to him and some health to him, although we should have gone for health. Get some supply there to our men. And all we're doing right now is just really strengthening this position. I'm also going to carry out an airstrike directly on top here on these units. Now, it looks like the airstrike cannot reach this area. Uh, so that probably means that they have enough anti-air cover here. It's probably the 88, as a matter of fact, uh, to stop us from even getting close. All right, let's keep going. Artillery. Yes! I don't know how this guy is at zero, but uh, he's still, uh, still alive. All right, let's go for the attack on Piedmont. Of course, we are west of Milano. We're actually in the north. We're in Lombardy. We're very close to Lombardy. Let's hit the artillery, guys. A bit of a hectic charge here, but I feel like being hectic. I feel like being as aggressive as possible. And that that's one way for sure to break through. See if there's any other opportunities here. We'll do one more airstrike, but again, we can only reach certain locations. We can actually drop an airstrike on the 88. Why don't? Okay, that's why we don't. Yeah, I thought that that was going to be a problem. The 88 is originally an AA gun, isn't it? Turned into an anti tank gun. That's how damn effective it is. Alright, what at Minturno? And I'm actually thinking now we might just take the commando unit to allow us to grab Scouti. I'm just going to get this tank in a position to prepare him to move. And let's end the turn. Two of our men missing in action, so essentially they just ran off the damn field uh, after we got attacked by the Flammenwerfer tank. I knew that was going to be a problem, and I knew that potentially there could be units right here that would cause us trouble. Now the enemy's actually attacking with their infantry in force, kind of pushing our boys back. We've got a bit of a challenge here. Let's move out here. Let's at least try to lower their numbers, but, uh, I must say, the Germans are doing a very nice counterattack here. In fact, I'm going to move this unit back. That's how concerned I am. We'll still defend the HQ with this unit, and eventually we'll try to bring some resupply here to these guys. But since they moved, there's not much we can do. We can, however, supply those frontline units, the artillery. Um, and of course, they're not going to be very good in a close combat situation, but at least the enemy will be focused on our artillery and not on our men.
Push through. It's the only way we're going to make it is to push through and be aggressive. Here we go. And we just got rid of an anti-tank weapon. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I think it's time to... Unfortunately, we, we might have to sacrifice this unit. I want to make, make room for the tank. It's going to be surrounded if we do that. We need to take Piedmont. Damn it, because if we take Piedmont, we can fall into it. And the infantry can just go right here. Come on, boys. Save your friends. Now we've surrounded this unit. They have avoided the attack. We still have that surrounded bonus. Oh, man, we were so close, guys. Let's see if we can bring in an airstrike. Yes, we can. Please, please, please. Oh, we got so lucky. Now, they still have a tank here, a pretty vicious tank, too. But we have taken Piedmont, um, another important objective here. Of course, the most important one, the final one that you need to capture is the San Giovanni area. Now, the Germans were foolish for coming down the hill here, although this is exactly what I told you guys they were going to try to do, is do a flank attack and attack our artillery. And that's exactly what they did here. They avoided our flame attack. Man, that's going to be rough. Um, I think we just have to move this guy out of the way, but that opens our HQ up for potential attack from the Germans, and I can't allow that to happen. Let's just move the HQ down this way. That is going to change our supply route, but I think we'll be okay. I'm going to just move back and open fire. They could retake Casino, so what I'm going to do in the meantime is just try and get a few of these units in here. See, over here, we need that HQ support next turn. So let's just get into position. At least we'll hold these areas, but there's no way that our army is going to be able to break through here. Um, unless we, you know, of course, get them some resupply quickly. Good defense, engineers. is the one that looks easiest for them to break. But maybe we get some support here from our good old-fashioned Sherman tank. Yes! Well done! See, these Germans are crazy to try and attack us, and despite that actually us taking more damage here, I'm gonna take the attack. The only reason being, he's gonna provide consistent supporting fire to this unit. And oh, yep, see, he's still gonna get that supporting fire. That is gonna be tough to deal with. Let's just go ahead, boost their supply, boost their supply, and even our paratroopers. Yeah, that'll be... that'll have to do for that. Now, what we immediately have to do is boost supply here. Get them up to a regular strength and all along the front line, guys. There we go. Beautiful. As you can see, we have more than enough requisition points from the last battle to keep it going. I love it. Now, of course, since we have given requisition points to most of these units, those particular units are not going to be able to move. But that's okay. We'll move them next turn, and we shall push on forward. In fact, I'm going to protect St. Elia. I hate to have to send an entire tank regiment just to defend this base, but losing it is not an option. We cannot lose that base. That would be a big problem. All right. Molto bene. I think so. Okay, wait a minute. We can still get an attack here near Piedmont. Now, unfortunately, this unit is in, in, in a lot of trouble. Let's put it that way. I'm going to fall back. I'd love to open fire here, but what I'm going to do is actually dig in with the Sherman. Make sure that we hold on to Piedmont no matter no matter what happens. Um, and I'd almost like to dig in with this tank too, but what he really needs is resupply. Do one airstrike here. I don't want to use too many though. As you can see, they're quite expensive and the 88 can still hit us at that range. There's not really a range I can see for the 88, but I think it's 10 tiles. So yeah, he can hit us still pretty badly. Let's just, uh, let's not push our luck. How about that? All right, men, welcome to the front lines. I know many of the soldiers and tankers have just arrived. 
And there we go. Look at that. Just holding on, we managed to actually get the enemy crew shaken. That is awesome, guys. So we actually managed to terrify them quite a lot. I don't think they're going to be able to attack us this turn. But I really want to take advantage of this situation. And I don't know if I can. A lot of our guys are completely out of rounds, out of uh, health. But I want to try to really damage that tank. Nice! He avoided it. I'm going to move back. Move into Piedmont. I wish we had our armor-piercing rounds, but the Firefly has not yet leveled up. Let's, oh my goodness, look at this. Their artillery's dug in. All right, we're going to have to break out of Casino, temporarily at least, just to engage enemy arty. And even that's not going to be too effective. Um, I almost feel like we'd be better off destroying the mines, believe it or not. We even get the initiative boost so we can continue the attack. And I feel like the Churchill will be a little more effective, but as you can see, that Churchill is not in the best condition. So let's dig in with him. our HQ to Cochuto. But I want to push forward with the artillery because I really need him targeting, um, you know, more serious enemy units. I'm just hoping he doesn't take, take Santelia. If we lose another unit, we'll put an infantry right there immediately. I'm almost tempted to let us, to intentionally lose a unit just so we can drop an infantry unit there. But I'm going to try to play this as, we're, as if we're actually in the area, so... We wouldn't intentionally send a unit out just to get killed. We're not the Soviets or the Japanese. Here we go. All right, boys. Nice shooting. Very nice shooting. I think that's it for there. And wait a minute. No, I want to get some resupply to him, too. There we go. Still trying not to lose a single unit during the entire battle. is in sight. Perhaps you could do better here in Frontline Western Front. <clears throat> and of course, the tactical scale here of the game is absolutely awesome. Currently, we've been fighting in Italy, and even the remainder of this battle, if I just zoom out here, there is a lot left to be fought, and I mean a lot. Even if we grab this group, my plan would be to essentially take them, move through the west to relieve our forces over here, and push towards San Giovanni. But of course, we're going to have a tremendous amount of defenses here on the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the first part of the video, but I thought it was important to say that there are a number of different difficulty settings in the game. So everything from very, or easy anyway, to uh, very hard. We're currently playing on the normal difficulty setting. And of course, this is just one part of the entire game, the actual Italian um, campaign. We've also got just the Western Front in general. I believe there are battles in France, perhaps even battles in Germany. It comes down to the wire here as the Western Front. And Frontline also has an Eastern Front version of this game, um, which is also quite interesting. We're gonna be taking a look at that soon as well. Just fascinating stuff. Obviously, the 2nd Infantry got very lucky during this battle. Um, we can get back to Kochiyoto and maybe get some resupply, who knows. But let's see how you guys would do. And of course, depending on the, on the approach you take, you might very well be able to get to these objectives faster than I did. It's absolutely a possibility. I decided to go with sort of a mixed approach, but I've seen everything from purely tanks to purely infantry. And, uh, you know, it works as long as you know what you're doing, as long as you know what objectives you need to go for, what's going to give you additional points to purchase more units, etc. So far, we haven't lost a single unit in this fight, although I would expect that if we continued very, very soon, we're going to either lose this fellow right here or one of these guys here in the front. Let's face it, the Germans absolutely did a nice little counterattack there at Piedmont, and if we have any chance of breaking through, we'd have to pull back, resupply these units, and then send them back out into the fray. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. You can also find this game on Steam um, for Frontline Games, and I'm pretty sure you can find it on uh, for your phone, Android, or iOS as well. Uh, I'm going to get some information from the developer to put that information in the comment section, too. Thank you guys, take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.